Okay, let's see what we got here. Days are getting shorter. You chose to... Uh, yeah, so we chose to attend Emily's end of the summer thing instead of Eva's party. Thankfully, there's only one party this Halloween, and it's Matt's. All right. Today has been shit, trying to keep my head above water. Oh, you got it. You, you got it, Red. Yeah, I think you, you always have... Um, you always have your music therapy at home, man, as soon as you get off, which is, I imagine, something nice to look forward to, dude. So I, I hope I hope work turns around, man. I really do. Damn, dude. Shit. It's popping off. Who the fuck is Kelly? Kelly Kelly tagged us in this photo, which is nice. School sucks. Emily wrote on Evelyn. Oh, shit. They're friends. Just a little insight will make this right. It's too late to fight. Evelyn wrote on Emily's wall. It ends tonight. It ends tonight. Matt, Matt, Matt is our friend. Emily is going Halloween costume hunting. This is Emily. She's got Tinkerbell. Uh, MLK Vincent, enough stalling. Tomorrow is the day. Prepare to get your ass kicked tomorrow. Mario Kart. No, you best prepare your ass. That sounds super gnarly. You're the one. Fair warning, I play. You prepare your ass. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of kick it. I haven't known to play dirty. But all right, let's see what we got. Matt Matt commented, "Whoa, that is one spicy Tinker Tinkerbell." Brad, oh my God, Brad. Okay, see, this is this is this is why the looking at Facebook is a huge thing now. Cause look at look at fucking Brad, dude. She's in it. She's single, but look at she, Brad is like, hey, do you want to dress up for Halloween together? And that's a problem. That's a problem, dude. That's a huge problem. Bring my new camera. Thanks for the invite, Matt. Found my costume today. Spooky teacher, I mentioned I live next to a graveyard. Okay. Uh, ends tonight. It ends tonight. I don't like that Evelyn and Emily are friends. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> the fuck is a verbatim? <laughs> I like Jeff. Let's go, Jeff. Can we add Jeff as a friend? No, we can't. All right, let's see what Matt's got. Hey, Vincent. Oh, hi. Well, how you doing, Icy? How's uh, how's Gabe? How's the wife and everybody? I'm just chilling. I'm gonna figure this out. I'll figure this out later. Making dinner for the wife and baby and watching on iPad. Sweet, dude. What are you guys what are you guys planning on eating? I was hanging with Kelly, but she left. How is she? So you just got laid. Yeah, what do you what do you make in I see? What do you like to cook, my guy? Chinese food? Well I guess just food because I'm making it. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Hey, I'm I'm a big I'm a big big chow mein guy. I used to go to Panda Express and just get a takeout tray of just pure chow mein, like three orders of chow mein. That was it. Well, duh, duh. But besides that, she brought her camera and she took so many pictures. Too many moody map pics are no offense, but she needs a better model. Can always count on that. There are way too many moody map pics already. Stir fry chow mein. Let's go. Oh, I know. I think she's stressed about her portfolio and photos and photo school. Where is she looking? Didn't know she applied. Black pepper steak. Hey, let's go. That's a shit ton of calories. Let's go, dude. That's gonna and, and I mean that in a good way. Like I'm trying to. I've been I've been keeping track of my calories as I'm trying to gain more weight and workout and muscle mass and things like that. So it's like I'm been super conscious about stupid calories. There's this one thing I saw on TikTok. It's like this spinning thing, like this. It's like a circle, almost like a like a like a washer, you know, that you put um you put your clothes in and it just spins around and you put oil and it heats up. And there was a dude that put like chow mein or and, and like vegetables or you know, the noodles and all these different things, and he was making like chow mein. It just cut, like it tumbled, and it made it every, it made everything like mixed up really 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 well. It was like a it looked it seemed like it worked better than a walk which was crazy but that sounds really good man 
that's awesome that you that you cook for them. But she doesn't think she'll get it. She'll get it in for sure, but she's a good photographer. She is a good photographer. Yeah. She's doing the a really good photographer. That's what I keep saying, but then she's like... Uh, Matt, you don't know anything about photography. I mean, you don't need to know. Immediately, I guess you can don't need to know. Yeah, you don't, don't need to know. Yeah, it's like, it's like art. It's, it's just subjective. You don't need to know about film to know that, like, Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan are some of the best fucking movies in the, ever created. Cook, clean, home, make, etc. Yeah, dude, I, 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 I admire that man, and that's awesome. I mean, there's so many, so many husbands and boyfriends or dudes out there that don't even take the time to like actively, number one, be involved or just help out around the house and things like that. And that, and it's like. It's it's good to hear that, man. That's it's awesome. You you're 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 a good husband and a good father, man. I, I, I do mean that. If I if I ever get to that point of being a husband and a father, I, I would love to to emulate what you do, man, and, and be able to, to fully take care of everything like that. And do it well too. Uh what if her shit is actually garbage and we're just like, nah, this is great. <laughs> we're not that though. Some uncultured swine. Very rewarding. Yeah, uh, maybe you get this too. I see. I, I, do you do you feel like when you cook, even the smallest thing, or even just making like a sandwich? I might be tripping, but I always feel extremely accomplished, even on like the smallest like meal of making. Like I I made a shit ton of oatmeal and a bunch of pasta the other day, and it just like just taking the time to do that, it and it just it's just like a small win, you know what I mean? It just feels good. It's a little tiny creation in there, you know. I found the best picture of you on Kelly's phone. I don't like where this is going. I can love you. That's the that, that's every picture of me. Dude, this game is a millennial nostalgia. Dude, it's insane. Have you played this, Icy? Have, have you have you played the Emily is Away um, uh, games? It's from Emily's Party. Let me post it. Hey, let's go. This is, this is the bonfire. So we went to... Because we went to Emily's Party instead of Evelyn's Party. So there's a marshmallows. We're roasting marshmallows and stuff like that. I hope that's me. I hope that's Emily. Because honestly, playing the playing the first two games, the first two games were great, and they're super cheap. They're super cheap, right? They're like five dollars. Or the first one's free. Second one's like five dollars or something like that. This one's like ten dollars. But if you ever used AIM back in the day, dude, oh my god! Just hearing those sounds was just like you're saying. It was just a nostalgia trip back in. The, you know, I kept I kept telling Katie. I was like, Do you remember this? I was like, Oh. You know, it's just it's it's fun. It, it's it's a fun, easy game. It's fun when 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 people in, are in chat and help me pick choices and stuff like that. It's it's a cool one. Uh, it's really catch it. We totally caught you in the act. The act of what? Yeah, the act of what? Wait, what's the act? What did I what did I do? Don't play dumb. I saw you laying on the playing the charm on Emily. Hell yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, maybe I was, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. We gotta be we're confident. Confident. Oh yeah, I make my wife a, uh, a lunch for work every day. She seems to enjoy it. That's good. I imagine it, it, even just having that, um, the, knowing that, that it's one thing less off of her back that like you enjoy doing, that you love doing. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it just, like I said, it just helps bring a relationship better. In, in, a, in a world full of divorce and breakups and dating is shit like it's to hear that you know there's 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 good relationships out there man i always root that shit on you know what i mean whatever you were doing at work look who emily is leaning on look at that no 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 oh damn i meant to i meant to put three there's definitely something there let's fucking go dude I'm convinced a woman's love language is doing shit without her asking. Squawk, if you're in this chat still, do you confirm? <laughs> and now you're having a game night together? You're so romantic, magic creeping hard. 
You're right, so romantic. Hey, Mario Karts can be hella romantic. You like reach over and you like mess with the joystick her a little bit. You know what I mean? Don't let her win. I wouldn't let her win. Try to try to win. You know, do or not try to win, but do your best. I'll be your wingman at my Halloween party, dude. That'd be so cool. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, Matt is a homie right now. I'm totally digging this 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 guy, Matt. He he is a hundred percent on my side right now. I really I really hope he doesn't screw me over. I really hope he doesn't screw me over. Emma's like such a great cat. She is. Yeah, she is great. Well, this could be good. Okay, so um, t really quick, it's like I could have said no, I'm not into Emily, but it seems like Matt is, because then Matt wouldn't help us out to get her. But now we have Matt on our side, and if Brad keeps trying to get with Emily, Matt might be able to like push him away or whatever. No, 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 Matt. Matt's cool. I, I think I think Matt's cool. Matt's going out with Kelly. Matt and Kelly are together, or they should still be together. Yeah, see, Matt, Matt and Kelly are still. They're still together. If they break up, he, he could be a piece of shit. I don't know. But I don't think he is. I really don't. Plus, she's super fucking hot. She, now, actually, shut up. Now, you should actually shut the fuck up. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just joking. No, you're not. You're not, dude. You're not. See, Matt, 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 see, party, party, party. I know a guy named Marty. Marty loves to party. So this is again that this is the picture of us. This is us. This is okay. So this is me. This is Emily right here. I think. Yeah, a hundred percent. Okay, that's what I thought. Hey, Emily, let's go. Sorry, I'm just joking. Speaking of her, she's online. I'll let you focus. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go. All right. So we got Matt. Matt's out. Peace. So D2. dude, I honestly, the guy that made this game, man. I, I have to give him props. It's such a simple idea, but it's just like I gotta I gotta give him props for this. Like it really does touch on that nostalgia trip. You know what I mean? All right, we're going we're going for Emily. How are you, bored? You saved me from Matt. You saved me. Well, now I'm laughing about your pain. Hey, you replied to my wall post challenge. I did. I did reply to her wall post challenge, right? I did. Yes. I said, "Hey, Emily, just a fair warning. You have been known. I have been known to play dirty. Read that shit. It's so important. Come on, under. pay attention. It's so important." Actually, I thought of this game. Hopefully, no one's gonna steal it from me. But I was talking to Katie about this because I was asking her if she would mind if if a girl named Emily, uh, uh, flirted with me in real life because of this game, and she got really mad. But I was like, you know what would be a really good game? Is like, is like Sugar Mama. Like that's the that's the name of the game, Sugar Mama, and it's and it's you go into a club or like a bar and you have to try to get a sugar mama or something like that i don't know this is stupid stupid idea but i mean i think it would be kind of cool it's a similar idea but just like trying to get a sugar mama you're like hey can you want to pay for my trip to europe uh but like how do you even play dirty mario kart i'm a hacker just said if we said it was in game oh what just wait and see. Just wait. I'm gonna say just wait. You just have to wait and see. Oh, don't put a period. That's not good. So you'll come over tomorrow night. Sounds like a plan. I guess I got the time. I'll be there. Yeah. Believe it. This is... Well, I think uh. Well, there's already Cooking Mama, isn't there? Cooking Mama. So you just got to make Sugar Mama. Sugar Daddy for the girls. Because equality. Million dollar idea. I could, I should, I should talk to George, because George wants to get into game design. I'm sure he'll be down to do this. It, I think it'd be pretty easy. Hey, Matt posted a picture of us. My new favorite picture. You look good in it. Said he just found it. My new favorite picture. That's pretty much my new favorite picture. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Me too. I think she likes me. 
I think she likes me. That was such a fun night. I love bonfire. So many s'mores. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, thanks for the invite. Absolutely. Show her appreciation. What, of course. What's a party without Vincent? I've heard that before. And honestly, old old Vincent was, was sometimes too much, to be honest. Uh, watching the fireworks and stargazing with you is nice. It's a, so deep. Perfect summer night. Yeah, perfect summer It's a perfect summer night. Uh, so Evelyn wrote on my wall. Who the fuck is Evelyn? Yo, I know you like new punk shit. I just updated my playlist for you to listen. I could ignore her? Holy shit. Jesus, dude. That's so, that's so savage, dude. That's red savage right there. Kelly's birthday is on October 26th. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, I just read Matt's caption. What does he mean? They caught you. What? what? Uh, caption. Caught you in the act, Vincent. Oh, shit. I don't know. Fuck. I have no idea. I really don't have any idea what he's talking about. What do you get? I kind of noticed that you were up to something too. What would that be? What would that be? Was I trying to take your trying to take your uh, your some more? Oh come on! You were running interference or tr interference between me and Brad like a pro. Thank you for doing that. Let's go, dude. She does not like Brad. But based off of the first game, she didn't like Brad at the beginning, and we ended up having to. We we just we lost Emily to Brad in the first game, so we have to figure out how to not have that happen again this time around. Which is which is which is gonna suck. Yeah, oh yeah, Emily wrote, or Evelyn wrote on my wall. Right. Yep. That. That's what friends are for. Boxing out exes. Oh, that's what they're. That's what they are. I really didn't. Okay. So, okay. So this is good to know. So Emily and Brad are. Are they were together? They're not anymore. So Brad might be trying to get back into it. Um. And Emily is not liking him so far. Well, sounds good, I see. I'll be sure to leave you a, a lurk when you when you hop online, my guy. Appreciate you coming in and kicking it. No, I wasn't invited. I felt bad. I think I'm just a people pleaser, like to a fault. It was your party. I feel like that. I feel that way. It doesn't. Don't have to be. It was your party. Don't have. Don't. Don't have to be. I know. I'm just so bad at confrontations. Oh, we got availability reason. Uh, I just uh, I am too. It's hard. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a confrontation. Sorry, you're in that spot. That's okay. I just do not feel the same way back. Right. That's good. Like, 
all the kid does is agree with me about everything. Oh shit. Okay. Is that even a personality? Must work for somebody. She, she would just like take a hint, just give it time. Could not invite the parties. Maybe you need a stronger hint. Not a stronger hint. Um, stop talking to him. Dating someone else. Um, tell him how you feel. You can, like, just be straightforward. Man, it sounds like confrontation, though. Not really. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to get into this. No problem. Okay, don't don't be sorry. It's no problem at all. No, it's fine. I it. it's okay. Yeah, I like talking with you. Zombie corpse bride, I guess. Okay. How about a random floppy hat? She is single as well. You are epic. What's up, Bagel? We're trying to get laid, my guy. Since I'm single as well. <laughs> Let's go. Dude. Hey, I'm single too, my guy. We're single in this bad boy. We're trying to get laid, though. We're trying to get Emily, my guy. Help me, help me pick. Help me pick. <laughs> Uh, thanks for being there for me, Vincent. I'm glad you and Matt came to the party. I'm glad too. Wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, I feel like I was. I'm glad too. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's like a little bit zealous. You get learn some game, dude. Leo you knows some game. What, what's how do you how do you pick her up, big? You show her that you can pass a supernova. I almost forgot to ask you. I can always ask me. About, oh, I'm scared. Just tell her you have. Have the three sixes? The three sixes. What do you mean? Explain yourself. Is that is that satanic? Uh, Emily Singer gave Kelly Struman as a gift. Face Nook told me to give you a free gift of gift for your birthday. I hope you like virtual cake. Okay. Have you heard the new Dead Mouse album? Hey, shout out Dead Mouse. Let's go. Random habits, I don't know, you know it. Six figure income, six inches, and I forgot the third one. Six, okay, so we got six, six, six figure income, six inches, and six, uh, six, it's not, it's like six cars, if it's like something material. Six kisses? Maybe we could do six kisses. Be romantic. I added them to my electronic playlist. Let's sync it up and listen to you. Yeah, absolutely. Six feet tall. Ah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what I thought you meant by like six inches. Like you have to be at least at least six six inches to date her. Dude, you want to see what you want to look at something that's crazy, Bagel? Check this out. Look at this old look at this old YouTube page that they that they use in this game. Old old YouTube. Old YouTube, my guy. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I'm not trying to get um copyright stricken, so You are the best taste in this. This shit is pretty fire. You have the best date. You have the done. What do you think? I do. I do like that. That album's actually really good. That Dead Mouse album really, was was great. He he got so much hate back in the day. I really don't know why. Just because he was popular and looked like Mickey Mouse. Well, I hope the rest of the playlist is as good. Oh, where's the shit? I got that. I gotta look at her other playlist. She has Electric Field, Justice Remix. A lot of Justice Boys Noise remix. I remember by Cascade and Dead Mouse. Let's fucking go, dude. Classic. Classic, dude. She's got. It's all dope shit. It really is all dope shit. Straight up. 
because that's that's the thing that Emily and I kind of vibed over was was music. Um, hey Evelyn, I hope you can come to Matt's party. It should be fun. Tons of people will be there. Great. So Evelyn's going. I hope Evelyn hasn't talked to me because we chose we chose to go to Emily's party and not Evelyn's party last time. So Evelyn might still be mad at me. Oh hey, have you picked out your costume for Matt's party yet? Have some ideas. Eh, yeah, kind of have some ideas. I picked out mine. Did you see Tinkerbell? Okay, got the magic wand. But I wanted to ask if you would dress up with me. Let's fucking go! Hell yeah! That's what I said. Dude, let's go. So what would you be? Tinkerbell, something else from Peter Pan, I guess. I'll be I Peter Peter Pan. Tinkerbell had a crush on Peter Pan. I can go I can go as Peter Pan. Uh, oh my god, I'll just be Peter Pan. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Because you like me. You want to marry me. I am so excited for Matt's party now. I'm excited too. It'll be, it'll be good. I'm glad you're going. Yeah, I'm just glad you're, glad you're going. Hey, Bagel, are you learning? Are you learning Riz right now, Bagel? Writing down notes, dude? I'm just, I just got a girl to ask me to dress up together to the Halloween party. Oh man, so I'm doing one of those note survey things and this memories and this memory it's making me relive is so fucking embarrassing. If I'm not sure it's not too bad. Now I know now I have to know what it was. I don't know, Vincent, you might think of me less if I told you I promise I won't. Promise I'm pretty sure I'll think more. Promise I promise, promise, promise. So it's asking about like f formative memories, I IDK, why, but this one memory from middle school stuck out to me for some reason. It was like I was having, it was like I was having babies first existential crisis or something. Adults are just like big kids. How are mirrors real if our eyes aren't? How are mirrors real if our eyes aren't even real? Isn't that like a Jaden Smith quote? Okay, not quite that level, but pretty fucking stupid. Matt gave Kelly a gift. Happy almost birthday, baby. Don't worry, I totes would have remembered even if Facebook didn't let me. Or didn't tell me. Okay, not quite that level, but pretty fucking stupid. And, and oh god, are the details of that night, like, peak teenage angst. This is gonna be good. Let me get a stargazing. No. It was like past midnight and I snuck out onto my roof with my iPod. I was listening to music and just looking at the sky. That's pretty cute. Some heavy angst right there. I go up on my roof too. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Might be might be angsty. I don't think it I don't consider that angsty though. Oh shush, I was having a moment. The worst part is now anytime I hear a certain song I get so emotional. Who was it? Don't leave me hanging. Now you have to tell me who was it. That's who went. No. I could just said who was it. Didn't need. I, I need to know. It's a little bit. I don't know. It was Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Not the not the Nickelback. I mean, yeah, it's not ideal. Okay. Crying to someday isn't exactly the appropriate response. Just gotta, just gotta own it. Gonna surprise play them now. I can see the problem. Just gotta, just gotta own it now. Yeah, she's draw you want. Getting deep about random shit. My pleasure. It's my pleasure.
em em Evelyn wrote on Emily's wall, this flood is slowly rising up, swallowing the ground beneath my feet. Tell me how anybody thinks underneath this condition. So, settle down. You know you're a good person. I don't care what everyone else says. What the fuck? Who the fuck is talking? Who the fuck says shit? Dude, what the fuck, dude? Who the fuck is saying shit? Oh my god, you should do this survey too. Sounds like work. Your answers first. Where's her answer? Where's her? It says at the bottom if I tag you and you don't do it, you'll get seven years of bad luck. Okay. Settle down, lady. Tag me, I dare you. That's some dark magic. Oh, this definitely is almost as scary as this chainmail. This conversation was getting boring. Can't wait to read yours. Bring on the, bring on the questions. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna go make some tea. Let's go. I don't want tea. I do want tea. What kind? What kind? Of Well, it's October, so definitely chai. Let's go. I'll be here. So. Okay. Where's the survey? Okay, no buys. Never buys. I have a pet peeve with those. Okay, I'll never say bye again to you, Emily. Only I love you. Oh shit, we ditching Emily. <laughs> What's up, PG? No, no. Okay, so this is this is the third game, PG, and. To bring you up to speed really quick, this is the second second episode. First episode, we get to know Emily a little bit more. We vibe with her on electronic music. Evelyn invites us to her party, and Emily invites us to her bonfire. So we have to choose between either one. We went to Emily's party, or Emily's bonfire. So now Emily and I are going to a Halloween party dressed up as Tinkerbell and Peter Pan together. She asked us to dress up together. So... Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go balls to the wall straight for Emily. I'm not even gonna mess with Evelyn. I'm going straight Emily this time. She doesn't like Brad right now, which is good. But as we remember from the first game, Brad was able to come back because Emily's not that smart. Plus, I'm kind of hoping you stick around for a while. Okay, so Emily tan tag me the notes. Okay. Okay, so this is this is her survey that she did right okay so let's start easy what do people call you emily or m for short are your nails currently painted yep it's pretty much the only makeup i can tolerate do you know someone who's always on their phone yes that would be matt okay what can you hear right now dead mouse's new album which she had us listen to which is pretty good uh random access memories uh the last person who wrote on your wall what's their name rhyme with uh oh no uh elephant venom Fair but Brad, can we use him as a Kenlin for the bonfire? That's what I'm, yeah, I'm I'm with you, dude. I'm with you, PG. I'm 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 with you, brother. I will I will literally throw Brad into the fire and not even like not even help him. <laughs> uh, are you and that person friends, acquaintances, something else? Well, we used to be best friends, but we're not anymore. I guess I'd like to be friends at least, but it's really complicated. I guess. Ooh. This might be Evelyn. I think this might be. I think this is Evelyn. Um, what's the last thing you put in your mouth? A latte from Starbucks. This is wild. What's what's best? What's best? Having good friends, a best friend, or a girlfriend boyfriend? I guess I'd say a few close friends. Best friends and partners come and go, but good friends are forever. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good answer. And not the TTFAF. Kind of fire. <laughs> I bet Brad doesn't even play Clone Hero, or if he does, he sucks. He's on like easy, and he can't even can't even hit easy. Uh, the person you last messaged, the two letters of their name, their first name, V and I. Let's go, dude. That's me. Are you and this person alike? Yeah, I guess so. They're pretty okay. I mean, not at first, obviously, but once you get to know them, why does everyone keep saying that? Do you ever say the word f 
fuck. Uh, I actually didn't start until like last year. Most important childhood memory, stargazing with my iPod and listening to the eyes open on repeat. Do you have a crush on anyone mentioned in this note? Dang, no, you're going to get me in trouble here. That's a yes, so maybe me. Tag two others to do this note. If they don't complete it, they'll get seven, bad, seven years of bad luck. Okay. So we copy this note. Okay, let's start easy. What do people call you? No cool, no cool nicknames. Vincent, good looking. I'm gonna say like, no, no cool nicknames. Yeah, no one. Apparently, no one really has any cool, cool nicknames. But if I say this, maybe Emily or Evelyn will call me something cool now. I can have them call me Daddy again. Are your nails currently painted? Just got them did? No, never. I can, I could joke around and you know, I just got them did. G fresh, G fresh. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. This picture actually kind of looks like me. Uh, do you know someone who is always on their fault or on their phone? Cough, Emily. Oh, me, Matt, for real. I think it's time we have an honest intervention from Matt. What can you hear right now? The punk. Oh shit. Oh, okay. So I have the techno playlist, the punk playlist, and the shitty computer. I'm gonna. So the punk playlist is from Evelyn. The techno playlist is from Emily, and the shitty computer is just technically what I'm listening to right now. I would be listening to the techno playlist um, if I didn't get copyrighted. All right, PG. The next, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be here, the next time we get messages, dude, you're helping me pick. If if you want to. Uh, the last person who wrote on your wall, what does their name rhyme with? Oh shit, do I... Ev Evelyn? Evelyn Miram? Uh, what does her name rhyme with? S Evelyn Miram? Evident Hel Skeleton Harem? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, let's go. Uh, are you and that person friends, acquaintances, something else? We're fr I say we're, I say we're friends. That's, yeah, I think we're friends. I wouldn't say we're best friends. Yo mama, what's the last thing you put in your mouth? I can't remember. Starbucks too. Yo mama, I can't remember. Uh, cheese. Uh, I can't remember. What's what's best? Having good friends, a best friend, or a girlfriend, boyfriend? A single best friend. Having good friends. I'm gonna say having having good friends as well few good friends. The person that last messaged two letters of their name is E. I guess E and M. Fuck this shit, it was Emily. <laughs> Fuck this shit, it was Emily. Uh, first two, but yeah, so it was because it was E. Are you and this person alike? I'm way cooler, but otherwise, I guess we kind of some might say they're copying me. Yeah, I would say. Do you ever say the word fuck? Fuck yeah! Every other fucking sentence. Good heavens, never. Every other. <laughs> Most important childhood memory: talking on AIM first day of school, stargazing as a teen. <laughs> stargazing as a teen. I was talking. Talking friend on AM. Do you have a crush on anyone mentioned in this? No, baby. Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth on the ground, I think. Damn, dude. Let's go. Dude, what if Emily ends up being lesbian with Evelyn? That would be that would be a big like curveball. Here's Evelyn. All right, here we go, Peachy. Batter up. I'll get us started. Hey, Eva. Yo, yo, Evelyn. She, I don't know if she's pissed off at us because we didn't go to her party. One. Okay, here we go, Peachy. This is not now. You're up. We got just chilling, interneting, a note survey. We just did do. We just did finish a note survey too, but we don't have to let her know too. Oh, right. right, you know, just interneting like a pro. You. Just raided my mom's liquor cabinet. What the fuck, dude? This chick is out of control. You're too cool. Be careful. Sounds like a good night. Sounds like, well, that sounds like a good night. I feel like Evelyn is, like, hella traumatic to be are dealing with trauma, dude. This chick is out of control. Emily seems a lot more, like, wholesome. Did you... So did you... Did you have a chance to listen to that playlist I sent? Uh, yeah, I did. So she sent me this, like... 
what's it called? Uh, this playlist here. That's like some a bunch of punk stuff. So this is what she sent us. In Evelyn's playlist, we have Census Fail, Family Tradition, The Alkaline Trio, Calling All Skeletons Disturbed, Inside the Fire, Paramore, Decode, Alkaline Trio, Help Me. So these are the these are the, the songs that she sent me. Um, yeah, so do you ever, uh, yeah, a few. I'm gonna say a few songs. Yeah, you say two. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna say too, PG. A few songs on it. Yeah. Dope. Which one was your favorite? Oh my god. Okay, good choices. But if we go in for Emily, I'd say I'd say a few. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like it's not like, hey, we listened to everything you sent us. It's like, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna say since I'll say census fail, for sure. Probably that new census fail track. If we said dead mouse, you would have been fucked. Oh yeah, nice. I like that one a lot too. Well, thanks for listening. Of course, always down for new music. I say I'm o oh, always down for new music. Yeah, push of course, because push of course is like I don't know. What's that? Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good one. Yeah, I'm always down for from new music from you. What is this unread post? Evelyn Mer Evelyn Merrim plans to attend the Halloween party. Yeah, so this is Matt's Halloween party. That is. Oh, it's still on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you, PG. Yeah, good call. Bam, there we go. That's my fault. So this is the Halloween party that Matt has going on. Emily's going, Kelly is Matt's uh, girlfriend, and it seems like now Evelyn, Evelyn is going as well. So this is going to be interesting because Evelyn might get upset that Emily and, and I are going together, are going uh, matching together. Oh look, I'm on your note. It was fate. Like my name rhyme? Yeah, you are. Uh, can we go to profile? Yeah, so we did the, yeah, you, you, you just did the note, or you saw the note that we did. Uh, is it weird for a second? I thought you were gonna say we weren't friends, but we are friends. I mean, kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, is it weird for a second? I thought you were gonna say we weren't friends. I wonder if she's thinking that. If she's thinking that because of the fact that um, I didn't go to her her party. One. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I put two because <laughs> that's okay. I mean, kind of. Why would I say that? I, I, I feel like that's a I feel like that's pretty legit though. I, I I liked one too, PG, but I think that's I think that that, that actually works. Because I, I do I did consider her a friend. We weren't best friends, but it's like we weren't not friends. It's just not something going on. Just tell me just tell me what just tell me what you mean. Something going on. Three. Yeah. Just yeah. Just be just. Just be, just be straight up. Just, just be straight up. You're just so different now. It's crazy. Fucking, what the fuck do you mean different? I'm sorry, different. What do you mean different? No, I'm not. I'm not different. I'm just being me. You're being new you, who I guess is just super distant. Distant like how? I don't think I've been distant. I don't think so. I've been super busy. I mean, how busy can you be as a fucking like high schooler? Um, distant. I just I, distant. Had just two, two. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I've been distant at all. Yeah. This is all because I didn't go to her damn party. R right. Exactly. This is what I thought. I mean. You didn't come to my summer party thing. You said you might be able to make it. Yeah. But I saw the pictures. I know you went. I know you just went to Emily's. I didn't mean to upset you. It was Matt's choice. Oh, I can't. So this is this is this is where it's a big problem because it wasn't Matt's choice. It was our choice to go to Emily's. So number three is out. We cannot do number three. I'm trying to make sure I don't have what happened in the last game where I say something. 
and then way down the line it bites bites me in the ass. I'm not having that. One, I just I didn't mean to upset you. I like yeah, that's a good that's a good pick. Yeah, I didn't mean upset. I, I didn't mean to like upset you. It would have been dope if we can go to both. We could have gone to both. I would have gone to both personally. I would have gone to both. Half here, half there. Since then, we've talked less and less. I'm always here to talk. I guess I didn't realize it's not intentional. I'm always here to talk. I guess I didn't realize it's not intentional. It's not, it's, not in it's not intentional. I like that because... I like it's not intentional. Two? Yeah, I, yeah two, two's a little bit more on like the... It's that good middle ground. Okay, good. He's good. He said. He said, "I'm sorry," which is good. At least he said, "I'm sorry." It's really okay, but like, I get it. I know you and Emily are close now. That's that's not not what this is about. We can still be close. How does that tie in? I, how does yeah? How does that tie in? How how does that tie, how does that tie into me being distant? Okay, I'm just saying it makes sense for you to be distant, I guess. Not, I honestly, I don't know what I'm saying. We can be, we can be friends. We can be friends. There's nothing wrong. Will you be okay? Are you mad at me? I don't give a fuck if she's mad at me. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say two, two, two sounds like the legit one, right? Yeah, two. Yeah. I mean, we can be friends, even if I'm close with Emily. Yeah. You, you can have multiple friends. Like shit, dude. There's people that I haven't talked to in like over two years, but I know if I hit them up, they'll be there. Like, no matter what. And and likewise, Kelly. Too many times before. Been down this. Oh, so this. These are Kelly's photos. These aren't bad. These are not. They're not bad photos. But whatever. This isn't why I wanted to message you anyway. You had the gen. Sorry if I derailed things. Why did you then? Why, why did you then? Uh, I'm not gonna say sorry. This is not my. This is not my fault here. You had an agenda. Why did you then? I could. I could. I guess I could pry. Yeah. Why did you want to message me then? Okay. I thought he was gonna ask like, why did you talk about this shit? Well, have you noticed Matt acting weird lately? Matt acting weird. Shit, dude. Okay, so this is Matt PG. I don't remember. I don't know if you know Matt. Matt is our best friend. Matt is also dating Kelly. Kelly, there. These two are dating Matt and Kelly. So I don't know what she's talking about. Him acting weird. He's always weird. What do you? What do you? What do you mean? What do you? What do you mean? Two. Maybe weird wasn't the right word. It. But like he he came on to her yesterday. No, Matt, what are you doing? Ah, oh, no. Are you sure he did? Like physically? Wait, what happened? Oh no, dude, this is not good. This is not good because now they're gonna. It's gonna make me do, do a bros before hoes thing. I'm lost here. Yeah, dude, I really don't know what to do here. I mean, well, these aren't these these aren't too bad to pick from. I it uh, like physically what happened? I think what happened. What just just tell me what tell me what happened here, right? Tell me tell me what happened. He just started being really flirty over face nook chat. Does she have proof? I'm not gonna just take her word for it. Telling me stuff like if only he was single. Oh, Matt, dude, what are you doing? You have Kelly, dude. Kelly's cool. Kelly's a cool person. I like Kelly. What is he? Look at these cool pictures. What a fucking idiot. Oh, Matt. Yeah, he wasn't joking. He, maybe, he, well, he could be. He could have been joking. He could have. He could have been joking. And you're positive he wasn't just joking. Because he's he's he is that type of person. Every time every time he's talked to us, he's always been like, <laughs> you know, kind of like a 
like a little little jokester. I don't I don't know. I just wanted to warn you because like I see the way he talks to Emily too. Don't do this to me, dude. Not fucking. Don't. Oh my god. He. Oh, this sucks because earlier. Earlier, earlier in this, in this, he did, he did say this right here. He said, Em is like such a great catch. I said, I know she's great. And Matt said, plus she's super fucking hot. And now he said, because you see what I'm saying? Like he, now he says he's just joking, but, uh, and then, and then he stops to let us talk, which is fine. But again, is it like, is he being serious or is he, or is he joking? You know what I mean? Because there's nothing wrong with finding people attractive or human beings. That's okay, right? It's the, it's acting on it. So I, I feel like Emily would say something if, if Matt was bothering her because Emily says something when Brad is bothering her. Talk to me. What are you saying? I've noticed that too. What are you? What are you saying? What are, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say with that? Are you trying to say that I'm I like Emily? Just be careful around him. And please don't tell him I said anything. Fuck, dude. He's dumb, but he's still like my friend. I'm gonna say, well, thanks for telling me. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say I won't say anything. But then she might be pissed off. I don't know. This is hard. This is tough because, y yeah, that's a good, that's a good pick, PG. It's this, this is a little tricky one because. What's up, Jacob? Oh my God, dude. I guess I should probably go. You don't have to. What have I missed so far? Uh, one one sec. I think we're almost done here. You don't. You don't have. To. I guess I should probably go, but you don't have to. It's okay. Bye. Oh man. Okay. So this is this is a little bit messy, Jacob. Um. Kelly Struman is thank thankful for the birthday wishes, especially you, baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, guess who's back? Okay, hold on. Before we talk to Emily again, Jacob, what what the rundown for what happened so far is in the first episode. I don't know if you if you watched that. It, what happened was we had to choose between going to Evelyn's party and emily's bonfire right and our buddy matt right here matt gursky had us pick between the two between emily and, and evelyn and so we ended up going to emily's party emily's bonfire was way more wholesome evelyn seems like she's just constantly drinking and blah 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 she just seems like a hot mess to be honest um matt is dating kelly but we just found out from Evelyn that Matt apparently hit on Evelyn or came on to her Evelyn just told us that we don't know if he was joking about it but that's what happened now Evelyn also said that she has caught Matt like flirting with Emily and this does line up with this text right here where Matt knows Matt knows that we have a thing for Emily, right? Right, exactly, PG. Matt said, Emily is a great catch. He knows that we like her. And I said, I know she's great. And then Matt says, plus she's super fucking hot. Now, he said he's just joking about it. But again, do we, do we, Matt's supposed to be our boy. He's supposed to be our wingman. We d I don't know where this is going to go. We're only on chapter two. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. We want Eva. We, we, we might go to Eva. We don't know. Emily could leave us for Matt or something. I don't, I really don't know. Right now, Evelyn also doesn't think that we're close friends. Um, because I didn't go to her party and we tried convincing her that we did or that we are still friends, even if we get a little bit distance, which is true. You, you can have friends and not talk for a while and still be still be close 
So um, we'll see. We're 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 gonna go to Matt's Halloween party with with Emily. We're gonna we're she's dressing up as Tinkerbell. We're dressing up as Peter Pan. She asked us if we if we could dress up together. So get yeah, mutual friendship. What's up, Polly? It is it is like a mutual friendship. Yeah, Eminem. So let's see what happens. Nope, sorry, just me. How's your tea? Don't leave me again. How's your fucking tea? Okay. Whoops, we got a new post here. Emily Singer wrote on Evelyn's wall. I really don't like that e Emily and Evelyn are friends. I don't like that. I really don't. This night's a perfect shade of dark blue, dark blue. Have you ever been alone in a crowded room? They, they, they just continue to like write lyrics to each other on each other's wall this tea is my cup of tea roll laugh track encore i don't get it i, I don't get it i uh, don't get it but a for effort oh my goodness oh shit you posted the note i did post the note all the right answers question took a while no bad luck for me no bad luck for me yeah oh yeah so we um Emily had us do this um, note survey, so we had a, we did this note survey, um, which is just the basic note surveys. I don't know if you guys did that back in the day on like MySpace and, and Facebook, but essentially what happens is we kind of just say, we we kind of just say who's our friends, what we kind of like, just the basic stuff, a couple things that we like. We hinted, we hinted that we do like somebody. So, a cup of tea. Her tea is her cup of tea. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Paul. That's fucking stupid. Vincent Nut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we 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 Vincent Nut because Ryuko was telling or saying to um to to be like Nut from the Jubilee videos and how like his Riz is like top of the line Riz. So we're trying to emulate Nut and encapsulate his riz into uh, the game. <laughs> uh, shit, you posted a note? Yeah, it's no seven, seven bad years luck, or whatever. Me, you know, I don't like him, yeah. Did you read mine too? Yeah, of course, I, I, I did. I read every, every word. And I hope you guys are doing good. You guys had a good, good Tuesday, Wednesday for those of you ahead of uh, ahead of time or uh, in the future. Learn anything interesting about me, Starbucks girl? You just started to swear you only wear nail polish. You just uh, you actually just started to swear. Grew up in a wholesome house. I'm gonna be honest. Emily actually does sound very wholesome, and I, I Evelyn is is definitely more of a partier I feel Evelyn likes punk senses fail stuff like that Emily likes like dead mouse and justice and more electronic stuff so we definitely bonded more with Emily on the electronic realm of music not to say that the punk stuff was bad because I do like punk but Emily Emily's taste in music was pretty pretty spot on here it was pretty cool um but fuck all that shit and you can't rhyme. And you can't. And you can't rhyme. Yeah, I'm not gonna push the crush thing right now. Wednesday, Thursday for Polly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. Like b b being friends with with everybody on Discord and Twitch and stuff like that is like it's definitely made me way more conscious and aware of like other time zones. I'm like, oh shit, dude. People are. It's people are getting up right now when I'm going to sleep down with the trash you love <laughs> yeah that makes you really sad and mad not glad just finished reading your answers be gentle my notes questions were tough my note my note my note is fucking gold man I, I had I had funny I had funny answers your fucking fuck response yeah so this is right here do you ever see the word fuck I say fuck like every fucking other fucking sentence fuck <laughs> master of comedy I am the master of comedy. 
Oh, and you plead the fifth? How incriminating. That's private. Not so loud. Dumb bitch. So it's a secret. I like her. I like I like her. Well, for, yeah, for fuck's sake, I'm learning a lot here. Is that good or bad? You are you you are she already did know a lot. You are you, you already knew a lot. I'm still I totally forgot. I wasn't thinking about it, but Matt, dude. I hope Matt's not a fucking idiot, dude. Matt better not do something stupid. Oh, wait, it's supposed to be in a relationship with Kelly. Why is his relationship status not with Kelly anymore? I hate how invested I am in this stupid fucking game. I mean, that is true. Whoa, well, you chose good friends over a relationship. I mean, wouldn't mind both. I think Matt, I just, I hope he's not an idiot. That's the fucking thing, though. Because he'd be a great wingman. But you have to choose, I definitely agree. I wouldn't say no to both right, but if you had to choose, I definitely agree. What's the famous saying? Bros before hoes? That's what I'm... Oh, fuck. I'm really scared. I'm really scared that we're going to have to choose between... Choose between siding with Emily and keeping her secret. Or siding with Matt. I'd use the bros before hoes. I'd use different. You would use different words, PG. Okay. It is a little blunt. Would you think less of me if I told you I live by that motto? Wouldn't surprise me. Would you think less of me if I told you I live by that? So she is more friends for bros before hoes. Wouldn't be. Wouldn't surprise me. No, it wouldn't really. That wouldn't surprise me. What you got going on, Emily? What are you doing over here? She got some fifth. She's got some. Oh yeah. So the uh uh, uh Polly and Jacob, because you guys we haven't been here. Peachy, I don't know if you saw this picture either. So this this is a picture of us at Emily's bonfire that she invited us to, and this is us right here. This is us, and this is Emily, and she's kind of leaning in towards us, which is dope. And like I said, she wants to go to Matt's Halloween party. Um, matching and matching costumes. Uh, guess it's par for the course. I lost my best friend once to her shitty boyfriend. That shit ain't happening again. Wait, what? Do you, wait, what? Friend. Oh, to her shitty boyfriend. Okay. I uh, don't know the story. We talking about Evelyn? Ooh, let's get some tea, yo. Yeah, yeah, Polly. You know what's up? <laughs> let's get some. We getting tea. We getting tea. She's drinking some tea. I want the verbal tea. Uh, yeah, it's just dumb high school shit. Turns out I'm dumb. I must be more than that. You are no way dumb. Don't think you are. Don't don't think you're to blame. Must be. Yeah, must be more than that. What actually happened? Yeah, I think that's good to know. So I don't mind talking about this with you because we're close. <clears throat> Let's go. But first, can I ask you something? Of course, anything. In your note, you said you and Evelyn were friends. Did you mean that? Uh, I don't know. We're not close. Yeah, I, 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 I did. I, Cause I told Evelyn that we are right. I said because Evelyn had that same issue. Yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm leaning towards, Polly. Um, I'm trying to make sure I didn't say anything stupid to Evelyn or anything that would like that would mess that up because she said I was distant and and whatnot right because I'm, I'm we I am I do consider her a friend I'm not trying to be romantic with her at all you know I think it's just I, yeah, we talk sometimes, I guess. That's, I think that's a good answer. I shouldn't. Hopefully Emily's not a jealous type. I just don't want anything I say getting like back to her. Oh, okay, for sure. So we're keeping secrets now. Can I trust you with that? My lips are sealed. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, my lips are sealed. I promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I got you. I am actually pretty good at keeping keeping secrets if you if you want me to keep secrets. I don't really know where to begin. Why'd you say you were dumb? You mentioned Evelyn's ask. Just start rambling. I got time. Uh, mentioned her ex. Yeah, Travis. Travis? Who the fuck is Travis? But even before that, in junior year, we were kind of drifting apart, but it's, I swear to God, Emily's going to see that she got with Travis, or Travis hit her up, and Emily and Travis got together. This is too much for me, dude. But it was just minor stuff, like her drinking and me. Right, she did start, she did, she did start, uh, uh, you're sneaking around this episode now? I'm not really sneaking around. I'm, I'm not. Emily asked me to be... Emily asked me to be secretive, or not secretive, but just to hold whatever she's talking. I, don't, I really don't even know what the fuck she's about to say. Evelyn, Evelyn said that Matt, our best friend, was hitting on her, even though Matt is dating Kelly. So, and Evelyn asked us to keep that a secret that we that she told us about Matt, and that's hard because bros before hoes, like Emily said. So I don't know what to do in that situation, but we, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, there's so much tea going on in this in this in this game, dude. It's too much. Um, but it was just minor stuff like her drinking. Okay, did did that make stuff hard? Sounds pretty immature of her, and wish she might about that. I had to switch to laptop. Hell yeah, Peachy, get nice and comfy, dude. This is some good, good story shit. <laughs> uh, no, it was fine. Everyone's different. It just created some distance between us, you know. I could see that. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that happening. And I, oh, I do appreciate you, you guys giving me your, um, your answers and what you would say and things like that. It's like so, some of these questions or answers are just super mundane and not really big but uh I, I definitely take what you guys say into account and everything um and then she met travis and everything changed so suddenly she was sneaking out smoking all of this shit that's what i was saying she seems way more like in that realm of rebellious and stuff like that versus emily being a little bit more like the girl next door wholesome so to speak it doesn't sound very healthy was she trying to impress him Maybe she wanted to do that anyways. I would say, I, I would imagine that if Travis is older, that Evelyn is trying to impress, is trying to impress him. That's, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to guess. You stayed through SRPG. Also, I got to make sure that I'm people that are online uh whatever she was trying to do travis just had her wrapped around his finger yes we saw, we saw that with chapter or with uh the, with number two or the second game two was uh steve steve had had uh evelyn wrapped around her fingers i think evelyn is extremely clingy to the guy that she's with which would have been great if she was with us uh, whatever she was trying to do, Travis just had her wrapped around her finger. You try to talk to her. Were you still hanging out? Did you stand up to? Tra Ooh, did you stand up to Travis? What do you? What do you guys? What do you guys think? Two. Two. Were you guys? Yeah. Were, were you still? Were you still trying to hang out with her? Um, we were, but never alone. Travis was always there. Oh, that's always frustrating. The Evelyn I knew was disappearing piece by piece. That's so awful. Travis sounds like a deuce. I'm just, yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry to go. So now it makes now it makes sense. Now it makes sense why Emily and Evelyn are constantly posting to each other's wall because before in the second game they didn't really know each other, but in this one it seems like they really like are friends and now it makes sense that there's history between the two of them so because there's history between the two of them you, i definitely have to be careful 
it's okay. So I sat her down and told her everything at this part. Well, I'm pretty ashamed of. I kind of told her it was either me or him. They trying to roast each other. That they could, to be honest. I mean, this is only the second episode. To be honest, we, they, they might be like, they, they, they might both be trying to get with me, and they'll be trying to like sabotage each other. We really don't know. Um, I kind of told her it was it was either me or him. That couldn't have ended well. You gave her an ultimatum. Why are you, why are you ashamed of that? I feel like number two, it, it's just you're just repeating what she said. That's kind of like it's just redundant. So I'm I'm between one and three. I kind of I, three three goes into more into what she's she's thinking. Yeah, I I, I I that's the one I was going towards, Polly. That's a good good choice. Why are you ashamed of that? That's not that bad. Yeah, and I like I like that it says that's not that bad too. It 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 consoles her a little bit. At the same time, I thought so too, but it destroyed us. What we are now is all my fault. You did nothing wrong. You shouldn't have pushed her. That's definitely not what I'm going to say. This is on both of you. I don't think she did anything wrong, to be honest. I really don't. Oh, no, don't say that. I didn't want to say this is all on her. I just wanted to say you did nothing wrong. This is, in my opinion, it's probably Travis's fault. I think it's naive to think like that. What do you mean it's naive to think like that? What would you have done if you were me? I would have told Travis off the exact same thing. Maybe, maybe nothing. I mean, if, if okay, so I'm trying to think if I've ever had this situation. Maybe, I don't know if you guys have where it's like if you you have a friend and then they have a, a significant other other come in, and that pulls the person away from that friendship. Um, I've definitely gotten distant after getting in a relationship. But never to the point where I would like completely disregard another friend or anything like that. Um, I think I've had a, maybe one or two friends that have gotten girlfriends and they just disappear because that it, it happens. But it's just because you get so busy with the other person. I, I don't think telling Travis off is, is the right answer here. Maybe Maybe nothing. I think doing nothing is kind of kind of sounds right because you can still be friends and it falls more on on you just to be okay with your friend growing or going with a new boyfriend or whatever i feel like i'm gonna i feel like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do i'm gonna do two maybe just let yeah right just let it play out that's 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 probably what i would have done yeah that would have been been ideal okay good because, I mean, it sounded like Emily was obviously upset that she lost that friendship with Evelyn. But it's out it's out of your control. And it's, it almost sounds like there's a little bit of jealousy there, you know. And it, it's hard. It's hard to lose a friend to, to a significant other. Especially if that other person is not good for them. Which Emily said, you know, she started drinking and smoking and blah, 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 sneaking out and stuff like that. So Emily sees Evelyn just kind of go off this slope a little bit and distance. So Emily didn't want to go down that path, do you know? But again, you don't have to like give her an ultimatum. You could just just let things happen and either she comes back or she doesn't. And, but I feel like giving her an ultimatum could definitely like put a wedge between the relationship for sure. I keep forgetting these people aren't real. Uh, to be honest, I've never done that. I've always made time for everyone. Guess that's why I'm sick, single with my internet buddies. But that's not, that's a good that's a good thing, man. That's good that you make time for everybody. That that's a that's a good that's a good friend, Peachy. And like I was saying before, it's like it's like it's 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 okay for friends to have some distance. I think that's healthy. Like. The, I was a best man in my buddy's wedding, and sometimes we don't talk to each other for for months. But that doesn't mean I can't hit him up, and he won't talk to me. Or like if he's in town or whatever, you know what I mean? He's he's married now, and all this stuff. He's got a full on career and blah blah blah. And all these things, two dogs and whatnot. It's just like there's so much 
else going on in people's lives that like it doesn't mean that friendship has to fizzle out or die it just it's just part of life you know um eventually her and travis ended but now me and Evelyn are here and here fucking sucks but you can reached out to her as she apologized is she avoiding you have you reached out to her because it's tough it's tough to juggle multiple friendships and everything else in life especially obviously when you get older when you're in high school and college it's easier you know you have more time you and, and things like that but it's all about priorities yeah oh absolutely i agree i mean f friendships are or are, are, are everything you know it's like the friends are there when with, with or without you being uh with someone romantically or when when family doesn't come through friends can sometimes be there you know what i mean it's like fr friendships are everything man i I'm, I'm right there with you but at the same time you have to obviously look out for yourself too you know and not get too caught up with friends and what they're doing and stuff and stuff like that you have to make sure that you're doing okay for yourself and if someone else is is going down a road or or whatnot don't get don't get caught on that and drag yourself down you have to know when when to back away like not not like really talking to her hasn't exactly been easy and it's gonna make me sound like a jerk but a lot of that's on me you don't have to forgive her just protecting your just protecting yourself it just protecting yourself and it's gonna make me sound like a jerk but a lot of that's on me. just protecting yourself what are you, three yeah that's, that's what i was thinking too I don't know, it just sounds like you're like you've just been protecting yourself. Unread post. Evelyn, the world could be burning down, burning down. Okay. I thought that I thought that at first too, but I don't know. Maybe I'm a bad person. Like I'm sure you've seen our wall post. I have, yes, this is what I was saying earlier. The lyric ones. Yeah. Like they, they obviously still connect in a certain way like it's 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 there it's there yeah she is being a little bit big yeah but i i this that's where it's tricky too because it's like sometimes if you try to pull too much from somebody then they get like why are you trying to you know learn you try, try to get that from me like if you're you're asking too much or whatever it's like i'd rather let her tell me you know as opposed to putting pushing too much uh yeah the, the songs you found together that's kind of all the interactions I've allowed for months. So it's okay. That doesn't seem right. It shows you both care. Yes, it shows you both care. That's what I've been saying this entire fucking time. Like there's still there's a spark there that could be reignited. Um, I guess that's true. Like, I want to go back to how we were, if that's possible. It's 100% possible. I'm just afraid of getting burned again. Totally understand it. That makes complete sense. She probably feels the same. Ooh. Don't want to... It's not... This is not about Evelyn right now. I totally understand, and that makes complete sense. Yeah, that makes... That makes complete sense. And given what happened, that makes complete sense, yeah. I just don't know what to do. What do you think, Vincent? Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go. I bet Evelyn feels guilty. Evelyn, you're both... Oh, my God. You're both to blame. Evelyn should try harder. I, I definitely... I'm... I, I'm trying to think if they're... They're not really both to blame. I mean, giving the ultimatum definitely wasn't the... the best option i bet i do i actually honestly do think evelyn probably does feel a little bit guilty two evelyn should try harder it will it would it would be nice it would be nice to know it it would be nice to know who started who started the ball post back and forth to each other she blames herself at least she does blame yeah but if we're trying to get with emily though it's like i'd uh it because I, i'm gonna be I'm, I'm with you paulie i actually do believe they're both to blame to an extent but i'm trying to get laid 
And I, I, I can't, I... And this, the other, the, the, the other thing I'm worried about is, is, is if Emily is going to tell Evelyn what I say here. Can Emily keep a fucking secret? I don't know. I bet Evelyn should try harder. I bet. I think. Says, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna go with one because it doesn't, it doesn't put pressure on Evelyn, and it just. Yeah. Force. Yeah, what's up? How you doing, Dorothy? It's good to see you, brother. I bet Evelyn just feels guilty and doesn't know how to go about making things right. Yeah. If I was honest, I blame both of them. Then, so then it's the middle ground. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll take that. That's 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 a good that's a good sign. I, okay. I kind of just want my best friend back. Hydrate. You got it. I got so much water right now. It's ridiculous. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I kind of just want my best friend. What should I do? Get her back. Tell her that. Get closure. Talk to her. Ooh, get closure. Or talk to her. Well, I, I, okay. So I'm going. I'm going one or two here. Um, three is such an asshole pick. <laughs> get her back. Tell her that. Bars. Get closure and talk to her. Get her back, tell her that. I feel like I feel like two's a little bit more soft. Yeah, four. Send boob. I pressed four. There's send boobs. One may lead to them being friends again. That might be bad, right? Yeah, it could it could be bad. I don't especially because again thinking thinking the long game here. We're going to continue to talk to Evelyn. If Evelyn starts developing feelings for us in any capacity, and we try, and Emily's also in this realm, it could backfire. But at the same time, I do feel like it is good for Emily to get closure at least. So I think at least just talking to her, not not fully get the friendship back, but at least I think I think two. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with two. It could cause the same exact thing. Yeah. You might not be able to get get her back, but you can get closure. Yeah. But you can just you can but just just talk to her. I guess that's true. Yeah. Well, the, thing, the I wasn't I wasn't planning on going for Evelyn at all. I'm sorry, Jacob. Um, but because Emily and I vibed so well in the first episode, I was like, just let's go. Evelyn looks like a like a gilf. <laughs> That's, you can, we can we can see Evelyn. This is Evelyn right here. This is her, these are all the pictures of her. There's Evelyn, zombie corpse bride, floppy hat girl, fist pump o'clock. So she goes to like parties. Wait, what is this? She's holding on to another girl. Maybe she's she might be lesbian. Beer pong. Gilf. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll try to meet up with her and talk to her. Yeah, screw wall posts. It'll be good, I promise. Uh, sounds like a plan. I don't want to say. I don't want to promise that. It's just, it just oh, it sounds like a plan. This is pretty good. This is a pretty. Emily again. She works on her. A hey, Evelyn, do you have time to like talk after school sometime this week? Why is she writing on 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 a wall, dude? Send this in a message, you idiot. I won't lie, it, it really it's really sucked not having like best friend this year, having eight like best friend this year. But we're pretty but we're pretty close now, so it may have been worth it. Uh, yeah, you're pretty cool. Oh, yeah, you're pretty. Yeah, I guess you're pretty cool. Plus, you're kind of amazing to talk to about shit like this. First time's free, bitch. But now I'm gonna charge hourly. I should, I should do, I should do that. I'm sorry if I like ruined your night. No, 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 of course not. No way. No way. Um, how we go? Okay. Oh, really? Next time I'll try harder. Let's go, dude. That means you're going to talk to me more? But for real, thanks for listening. It means a lot. I'm always here. You. Oh, you mean a lot. Oh. You mean a lot to me. Oh, uh, imagine if it was a winky face. Okay, 
Really important question time. It's always C. Answer C, it's always C. Which character do you play in cart? Oh, Toad. What the fuck is this? Luigi, Peach, and Wario? She picks Toad? This is what I'm saying, dude. She's my she's my girl, dude. She is she is the love of my life. She is the love of my life. Oh my god. I'm totally breaking up with Katie. Uh if these are my options, I'm gonna do Luigi. God damn it, dude. Peach Peach is good. Peach is, Peach is good. Luigi, I guess he does suit you. I like Wario, though. Wario's funny. War Wario is, is funny. And he does have the weight so you can, like, you know, smash into people, you know what I mean? I should have been, been, like, Wario. That way I can smash you. Uh, gonna take that as a compliment. No more than, to, it's the obvious choice. No more than, no more than Toad suits you. Why does Toad suit me? No, Yoshi. I was honestly expecting Yoshi. Should we make this more interesting and bet on who wins? Uh, yeah. yeah. So what are the terms? Bet on who wins. Uh, IDK, I'm thinking we can figure something out tomorrow. Involving clothes, perhaps? I'll bring some money. I don't want to be, I don't want to creep. I'm not going to creep. I could. I feel like three... I feel like, I feel like three is something Darth would say. For sure. Hey, what's up, what's up, Loki? Sorry, this other, no, no, Yoshi. Sure, yeah, that, that's that's that, I like that Peach. That's a good, that's a good one. Maybe I didn't impart on you the level of cart playing we would be doing. What should we do after playing games? Drive around the mall, just chill. Okay, so this is this is where it gets a little bit tricky because in the first game. We decided just to chill in our in our uh, dorm room, and then we end up hooking up, and then she's pissed off at us. So, I feel like just chilling is a bad option. To just stay at home because something's something's gonna happen. I wanna be. I wanna be in public where there's witnesses. Drive around Mario Kart in real life. Yeah, let's do that. Just drive around. Driving around's good too. You can use this listen to music. We could just drive around for a bit, waste gas. The mall, the, you know I hate the mall, Katie. Come on, I would never pick the mall. I don't like the mall. I, I like that. Oh man, I'm so excited. Me too. It'll be fun. You should be. Should be excited. Driving around, she's gonna get pissed when you put your hand on her leg. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. Stop. Oh, she poked us? She poked us? Shit. Poke. Oh, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this is not good. This is not good. Matt wrote on Emily's wall Yo, M, you got free time tomorrow afternoon. I need your help. Meet, meet at the mall. What the fuck? I, uh, I really like you, Vincent. I really like you too. I really like you too. We should get married and have children. You got me smiling like an idiot over here. Where's Bagel, dude? Matt trying to take him to the mall. That's what I'm saying. This feels like a dumpster fire. That's what I'm so worried. This is only chapter two. This is only chapter two. You got me smiling like an idiot over here. I'm glad. Similar, I like you. I like you more than friends. Oh, too, too easy. Similar predicament. That's such a. Is she? So is tomorrow? I don't know. Like something? It's a date. Oh, it's a fucking date. It's a date. Duh. Less than three with three threes. 
I am the Riz Master. I don't even care if anything goes wrong. I got the date. I got the date. Darth, I hope you're taking taking notes here, dude, on how to how to riz up girls named Emily. I may have just screamed at <laughs> Ralphie. <laughs> I heard it. To be not trying too hard when she's already given you an in. That's what I'm saying, Darth. You can't you can't be you can't try too hard. You can't you can't. You can't. So I guess uh, this makes me your girlfriend, my girlfriend. Only if you want, I'd be, yeah, she's fucking, this is it, bro. My girlfriend, Emily. So now we have to fight to keep her for, we have to fight to keep her for three more chapters. It's about time, about time. It's about time. Oh my God. She's liked me for a few months Oh my god! So she was the one in her note, in her note, in her note. Where's her fucking note? In her survey. In her survey. Uh. Where, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Do you have a crush on anyone mentioned in this note? Dang note, you're gonna get me in trouble here. So that's me. That's a hundred percent me. She was basically she was she was sitting on me at the bonfire. Yeah, this is this is us right here. Look at that. Look at that, dude. She's she dude. She was marshing my mallow right there, dude. It's like no joke. She yeah, dude. That's how you reacted when you realized I liked you. Yeah, but you liked me first. Well, I guess that does that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Katie, Katie liked me first. She she was the one pulling strings to get me because I'm absolutely oblivious. She had to be like, hey, 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 idiot, fucking hang out with me. Marshing my mallow, dude. Marshing my mallow, TM, dude. Trademark. It's about time. I've only had a crush on you for like a few months. Same here. 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 All gooey. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm like so stupidly happy right now. You should feel feel my. Um, I'm like so stupidly happy right now. I'm glad it makes two of us. Not as happy as me. It makes two of us. You got too much. That's what I'm saying, dude. Should we make this like Facebook official? Let's fucking go. Yeah. Oh, you know what? This is good though because if we do this, then we know for sure Matt has to back off. And if Matt doesn't back off, that's fucked up, dude. And we know he's not really a friend. I can't think of anything more romantic than a formal request to be your girlfriend. Let's fucking go, dude. In a relationship with Vincent Nutt, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. In a relationship with Emily Singer, dude. I'm still tri I am honestly still tripping at the fact that Matt was hitting on Evelyn. Because in the beginning, Matt seemed like an, like an awesome dude. Would you look that so official? Face nook official. Uh, da, 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 da. Unread posts. Someone's posting my wall. Emily Singer is someone like you and all you know and how you speak. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, cause yeah, what 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 are you gonna do now, Matt? You can't. You're not going to the mall with my girlfriend, dude. What the fuck, dude? Dumbass. What the fuck you think you're doing? And don't mind me. I'm just posting a cryptic status. So I know what it means. I don't. I really don't know what that means. Context clue. I, I don't know what the fuck she means. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. I can't wait to see what Matt's reaction is. Matt's gonna be pissed. Sorry, Matt. Can't hang. Sorry, Matt. Can't hang, can't hang tomorrow. Already got plans. Fuck you, Matt. Dumbass. 
Emily's mine, dude. Stick to Evelyn or Kelly, dude. Can't have th all three girls. What a fucking idiot. What, what the hell? I can't stop smiling. You're cute. Oh my god. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Oh, I, uh, Icy's online now, too. Let me go give Icy a... Go give Icy a, um... A lurk. Oops. Um... Shit, my dad just walked into the room. He wants to use a computer. Fight him! I know, right? This is an important moment, dude. Just chill, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me enjoy... Let me enjoy my girl. He knows something's up. He was like, "Why are you? What are you smiling about? We've been caught." That's hilarious. Quick hi. I have to. I have to figure out what's up with OBS though, because it's it's just so stupid. Because the whole like first three months when I was streaming here, it was never an issue. And it fucking happens again. Oh, well, now we've been found out. I'll see you tomorrow, Vincent Arco. Absolutely. I uh, remember no buys. Yeah, screw good buys. I'm sticking around. It can't be helped. Uh, yeah, honestly, it, it, I don't... I'm a little upset. <laughs> But on it, I'm I'm really stoked that you guys have been enjoying this game, because because of the because this this is just screwing up. I don't want to waste your guys' time and dealing with the ups and downs of going on of, of of it not working. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix this issue and do some OBS fixing or whatever. So I know I I see's online now, so I was I'll, obviously I'll probably just send everybody over there. You guys are probably already over there and whatnot, but. Um, I don't, I don't want to deal with this disconnection shit over and over and over and over again. It's frustrating. Good, so strong here. That's right. Okay. One month. Oh shit, Matt's single. 